Hi everyone, welcome to week six. Can you believe it? We're already in week six. We're headed toward the end of the term. So let's get going. This is some of my favorite material to cover in biology. Um, more genetics. I hope it is yours, your favorite too. Okay, let's talk about last week first of all. Um, last week we learned about DNA. You isolated DNA from your cheek cell, so that was really cool. You could actually see the DNA from your cheek cells. And I talked about the polymerase chain reaction technique. Um, it's a way to magnify or amplify DNA, make lots of copies of it. And um, this is terribly important in science today. And we can see the way that it's being used right now with the COVID-19 epidemic that's in this country and pandemic, which is across the world. Um, so it's a technique that's used to amplify DNA or RNA, because you can also use this for RNA. And this is a way that we're looking for uh, the coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2, out there in the world in people. So it's a really relevant technique that's happening right now in labs all across the world. Okay, the information this week is about genetics and traits in the form of genes. So genes are little pieces of DNA that um, contain the information to produce the traits that every organism uh, has. <clears throat> These genes can come in different forms, and those are called alleles. I cover that in one of my three Punnett Square videos that I have for you under the announcement section. Uh, Punnett Squares are an organized way to make crosses between individuals uh, when you don't know exactly what their genotypes or genes that are present are. Um, so we can look at the phenotypes, the physical traits, and try to figure out what their genotypes are what genes are present. So be sure and look at my videos. I have three videos. I had to cut them up because I was getting tired between them and uh, I just needed a little break, get my thoughts together. So I made three short videos and they're all together in one announcement. So do look at those. Um, you'll be examining monohybrid and dihybrid crosses and I give you examples of how you write the letters here. So remember this, if you're talking about any trait, any gene of any trait, you use one letter and you either capitalize it or you use it in lower case. Capital letter means it's a dominant trait. Lowercase letter means it's a recessive trait. So remember that one letter per trait. So a monohybrid cross, mono means one. I have an example here, a big T, little t, crossed with big T, little t, and then what offspring could you get? A dihybrid cross means that you're looking at two separate genes, two separate traits, and so you use two different letters. And remember again, uppercase and lowercase signifies dominance and recessiveness. Uh, in these traits. So you're going to be working on some of these crosses um, through your biology project worksheet that you have to. Plus some of the information that's part of the germinating seeds uh, lab that you have to do this week. So you need to germinate some seeds. These are called fast plants and um, people across the globe use these to study genetics because they are what they are called. They germinate and grow very quickly. And that's why we can grow two different batches of them in a single week for our labs this week. So you're going to be germinating seeds for lab, sort of like you did with the peas, except these grow even faster. But you need to get started now. Hopefully you got started before now. But I mean, today is the day that you have to get started if you're going to finish this lab uh, because it takes a while. You have two different sets of seeds that you need to grow. So please start now. It's not that much time involved in getting these set up and even looking at them and counting them. 
there really isn't that much time that's involved but you do have to need you do need to get the setup started right now in order to get finished and like I said watch my Punnett Square videos that I have for you in the announcement section they're one right after the other in the same announcement I give you some hints about the germinating seeds lab that will help you with this I show you how to do Punnett squares I show you what the different ways that you write the letters so that you keep everything straight and I help work you through what you're actually looking at when you make a Punnett square and you have all those letters and all those squares so please do watch those they are going to help you with the germinating seeds lab and with the biology project lab okay so for the biology project worksheet that you have to turn in <clears throat> You can either use that as a Word document and type in everything, or you can write in your answers. I am fine with you writing in the answers and taking pictures of these and turning them into PDFs. The only thing is, if you write out your answers, I have to be able to tell the difference between uppercase and lowercase letters in your handwriting. And I, this has to be legible. I have to be able to read it. If I can't read it, I can't grade it. So I'm just saying, you have to make it where I can tell what you're writing. Draw circles around your gametes so there aren't any questions about what it is you're writing here so that I can tell what's what. Um, you'll understand this when you watch my Punnett Square videos. So what the heck is a gamete? A gamete is a sex cell. Sex cells only have one copy of a trait. They either have the capital T or the little t in them. They don't have two. Now they can have two of different traits. They can have a T and a B, but not two T's, not two B's in a gamete or a sex cell. So watch my videos so that you understand what I mean about putting a circle around your gametes. And then finally, even if you type in your answers to this worksheet, please space out the answers. So I'm going to hold this up for you. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but there is literally very little space between the questions. So please do space that out so that I'll be able to read these and be able to grade them. If I can't grade them, then I can't grade them that's the way it works so um, if you have any issues if you can't figure out how to do something please please email me m.sigmund at snhu.edu I'll be glad to work with you I can help you with well most anything except maybe life situations but you know I can help you with the biology okay and otherwise I hope you have a great week. Uh, these are some, of, some more of my pictures, and this is from a botanical garden that's really close to my house. Uh, they have an orchid house, and I love the orchids in there, but they also have little tiny petunias outside. They have so many things at the botanical garden. Of course, now is the time to go and see lots of flowers in bloom, and guess what? We're all quarantined, and we can't go anywhere. So... I put up some of my pictures just so that I could enjoy them. So y'all have a great week. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you run into any problems. See ya.